first and foremost, before I get started with this lesson, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well and have taught me the truth, peace, and salutations unto the hope of the elect. The temple of King David was scattered through the four corners of the earth. And to you I say, Shalom. Hey, Shalom to you, Akim. Shalom to you, very few Aqua. Shalom to the hope for the elect. And now this is going to be a real quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Rathazah, this lesson will be edifying to someone. And uh, I was listening to um, uh, the brother uh, Manathzak uh, Ban Banyola, I think. And uh, he does a lot of, you know, animated videos. And the last one he did, he had a clip of uh, Elder Apostle Tahar, or Shlake, Elder Apostle Gabar. And, uh, you know, the lesson was really, really something else, man. And Yahweh Rath is I'm gonna leave the link, you know, uh, to that lesson in the description box. But um, <clears throat> it got me to thinking, man. You know, there were so many times in my past where the Lord could have put me to death, man. One one particular time, I was in Jacksonville, Florida, <laughs> and uh, I was with a guy. And uh, we wound up going like through this terrible neighborhood. And um, the name of the neighborhood was called Out East. You know, if you brothers from Jacksonville, you should know what I'm talking about. But um, we wound up going through there and it was at night. And uh, when me and the guy was in the car, we pulled up to like this little, I guess, corner store. And uh, about nine guys came out of nowhere, man. You know, and all of them just leaned up against the car. You know, and I could hear the guns being racked and everything, you know. And I thought that my life was over, man, right then and there. You know, so I guess this is a quick testimony. You know, I, but uh, I thought my life was over, man. You know, I really did. And then, um, you know, but, but I know that the Lord, he spared me that day. And it's been so many other countless times, you know, that I've, you know, like had near misses with death. You know, just the other day, um, I'll say about a few weeks ago, I got my whole arm uh, caught, in, caught inside of a conveyor belt, man. You know, and, you know, they had to stop the machine. Everybody started running and yelling and bugging out, man. And uh, when I finally got my arm out of the machine through the spirit power of Yahweh by Hashem, I was shot. I didn't have not one scratch on my arm, man. You know, my arm could have got tore up, you know, skinned up, mangled up, and all that, man. You know, so there's been a lot of times where I took flights. I remember one time I was on a flight, and, um, you know, uh, I was sitting on the, I guess the, the uh, what do you call it, the right side of the plane, and the engine uh, damn near exploded, man. You know, where well, we had to make an emergency landing. You know, and I thought that was it. <laughs> you know, so I say all this to say that you brothers out there that's, 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 that's teaching this word. I'm talking about you brothers that's teaching this word, man. You know, and even, you know, you, you brothers and you sisters out there that are listening. You're here for a reason, man. You know, but this is talking primary to the brother. You guys are here for a reason, man. You know, when you stop and think back all the things that you went through in your life, you know, where you where you had near misses and all of that, man, you know, the Lord could have put you to death. You're here for a reason. You know, and that reason is to teach this word and to call and worship on the names of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, man. <coughs> And when I heard that lesson that, you know, that the brother uploaded, man, that was heavy for me, man. You know, because I started thinking. I started having flashbacks, you know, back when I was bugged out. You know, so 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 meditate on that, man. You run across this video, meditate on that, man. Meditate on all the things that you could have went through. You know, you know, the times where the Lord could have put your ass to death, but he got but he reserved you, man, for a reason. And that's to teach this word, man. And I actually want to read the, uh, the precept that uh, that the apostle brought out 
and I got a few more and I'm gonna shut it down, man. All right, because you know, you got, you got a lot of people out there you know, matter of fact, let's just go ahead and read it. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 48, verse 8. And it reads, He, thou heardest not, even thou knowest not, ye, from that time that thine ears was not open. That's right, man. You know, so at one point in time, man, our ears were not open, man. You know, we were, we were in the world through. I did a video not too long ago, man, showing you, you know, the things that I used to do, some pictures and stuff. And I was through. And a lot of you brothers out there, before you came into this truth, you were through too. You know? Continuing on. For I knew that thou wouldest deal treacherously and was called a transgressor from the womb. That's right, man. You know, so we was, you know, we was all transgressors from ever since we was born, man. Right, but check this out. Verse 9, Isaiah 48 and 9. For my name's sake, you see that? For my name's sake, sorry, for my name's sake will I defer my anger. You see? So amen. The Lord deferred his anger from us, man. For his name's sake. So we can teach his name. Call and worship the names of Yahweh. Why Yahweh Shai, the only begotten son, man. You see that? Let's keep going here. And for my praise will I refrain for thee that I cut thee not off. That's right, man. The Lord could have cut us off, man. Right? But us brothers that's teaching this word, he kept us, right, so we can give praises to his name. How heavy is that, man? You know? I know brothers, you know, I mean, it's, it's something to really meditate on, man. You know, every now and then, you know, I you know, I meditate on it, but you know, that was a really inspiring lesson that the brother uploaded, man. And the water, if that brother run across this video, man. Right? I'm gonna read verse 10. It says, Behold, I have refined thee, but not with silver. I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction for my own sake. You see that for my own sake, even for my own sake, will I do it. For how should my name be polluted? And I will not give my glory unto another. That's heavy, man. All right? So, yeah, man, we've been refined, man. All right? Just just to call and worship, just to give Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai praises, man. You see that? This is heavy here, man. You got a lot of people out there, you know, they, they know the names or they knew the names and the Lord put them to death, right? You got a lot of people out there that know the names of the Lord, right? But they call on the names in sincerity, man. That's why you see a lot of bug outs out here that know the names, but they're through. You know, you got people out here that got the name, they're not doing the work of the Lord or nothing, man. But you brothers out there, Right? We're doing these videos and, and teaching our people the name of the Lord, man. You know, because the Lord wanted us to do that, man. That's why he kept us back from all the things that we could have uh, uh, easily been, been put to death for, man. So think about that, man. You know? Think about that. You know, I want to read this here, too. Because, again, you got a lot of people, you know, they... They know the names. Matter of fact, let's read this. Here. Cause I mean, well, you got some people, they don't even know the names, man. They don't know the names. They're still calling on fake white man Jesus. They're still calling on God and all of that, man. Through Yahweh, Yah, Yahuwah. You know, and a lot of you Yah people out there, you don't believe in Yahweh Shai. You just believe in, 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 you know, you just believe in the most high. His name is Yahweh. What about the son, Yahweh Shai, man? Just to tell you that uh, uh, no man can come through me except through the door, man. Who's the door? Yahweh Shai. Let's read this here, man. This is the book, Proverbs chapter 30, and I'm going to read verse 4. Who have ascended up into heaven or descended? Who have gathered the wind in his fist? Who have bound the waters in a garment? Who have established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? You see that? And what is his son's name? If thou canest tell. You see that? So yeah, man. You know, and, and we're giving you the names, man. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh, 
meaning he is, you see that? And also Yahweh Shai, man, he who exists, or, or Shlaki, uh, um, Yahweh Shai, he who saves, man. All right, so you got a lot of people out there, you know, they know the names, but they don't believe in the names. And you got some people out there, they think they in the truth, but they don't have the names, right? But us brothers that's doing this work in truth, righteousness, and sincerity, the Lord gave us the names so we can give him praises, man. Right? If the Lord woke us up to this truth and we were bugged out, don't you think that he would have gave us the names too? The answer is yes. Right? And that's faith, man. So to all these people out there tell you that we don't have the names, man. Right? Let, let's read one more, man. This is the book of uh, this is the book of Baruch, chapter chapter two. And I'm gonna jump straight to the point because I'm actually running a little behind. This is the book of Baruch, chapter two. And I'm going to read verse 30, and it says, For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people, but in the land of their captivities, you see that? They shall remember themselves, you see? And shall know that I am the Lord, their power, for I will give them a heart and ears to hear. And they meant Yahweh the Zah, that's us, man. You see that? Verse 32. And they shall praise me. How are we going to praise the Lord without the names, man? Continuing on. They shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. That's right, man. You know, so again, I just want to kind of bring this lesson out. You know, just a, a, a quick, you know, lunch break rant. You know, we have the names, man. And the Lord spared us through all the shit that we could have been through, man. Right, it's been many times before when, when you brothers out there could have been destroyed, man, and even you sisters, man. But the Lord kept us to give to give praises to Yahweh and also the only begotten Son, man, Yahweh Shine. And with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here, Israel. Until next time, I say, Shalom.